Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, next episode of Eternal Darkness Sanity's Requiem. In the last episode, we were a guy named Lindsay, and he didn't die. In fact, he left something for Grandpa. Ooh, we're already in the light race. Sweet. Uh, he left something for Grandpa, or with Grandpa. And... I remember right, it's just like a book that just like sticks out like crazy. Oh yeah, there it is. I mean, who puts a book like that? The Demon and the Camera. Alex discovers a pulp novel written by one the by one Dr. Edwin Lindsay amongst the books of the shelf. This is where the tome of eternal darkness indicated that something of value was hidden. Behind this book, could Alex look beyond? Yes. That's sexy. Within the with the book removed, a secret cache is revealed. Cache, cache, I don't care how you pronounce it. Inside is the heart of Matrock, encased in glass to protect the world from its corrosive energies. Should we take it? The answer is no, we should not. We'll do it anyways. Um, Matrock's heart pulses with unholy life. Although the corpse guide itself festers elsewhere, its power resides within the artifact. Think of what to do now. This is where the basement was. Okay, it's locked. Where is the basement key? We have the dispel spell. Dispel spell? It's the dispel magic spell. So maybe that will work on that. The stained glass window. That's what they're called. Um. Yeah, summon trapper. So that's red, so let's use blue. I can look Lugans. Floating. As the magical window fades away, the piece of the parchment that the maiden was holding is left behind. Floating in midair appears to be a chapter page. Alright. Heresy! I don't know why I did that. Checkered floor looks inviting. Look at my text massages. Their Discord. What are you doing now? Pious. Well, Stranger Things was not that creative. I am not your fool today. I am your master. Your task is to guard the artifact before you. Let no one touch it. I don't want to fight that. That seems unpleasant. Um, well, we've got another book, Heresy, or chapter of the book. In Europe, during the time of the Inquisition, Spanish one. paranoia and corruption ran deep. With the fear of devilry running rampant, the ancient's corruption extended far beyond mortal knowledge, corrupting all that could be corrupted. My researches uncovered an interesting incident. A Franciscan monk named Paul Luther was traveling to the region of Amiens during the witch hunts of the Inquisition. Now, under martial law, the Inquisition Tally. prevented anyone from leaving the town and its nearby cathedral. For everyone was suspect. All right. Hopefully that's good. Welcome to Oublier Cathedral. Brother Luther, I'm glad that our sacred order can bestow hospitality on our Franciscan brethren. I shall not impose, Excellency. I merely request lodging and a viewing of the sacred relic, the Hand of Jude. Many have traveled far and even risked their lives for a glimpse of the hallowed relic's true splendor. Of course, it would be wise to keep quiet during your stay. The Inquisition is here for a reason, brother. We seek to purge the deviancy from this town. I am sure that will not be a problem. 
Amiens appears to be a peaceful hamlet. It appears to be. But deviancy is secreted in the most deceptive places, which I believe is the case with Amiens. Then I wish you luck in your search. The Inquisition does not need luck, Brother Luther. Faith and purity are our guides. You don't question that his skin's like a weird gray color? Okay, so I don't really want to follow him. Okay, who are we? We have a meditation rod. What does that do? Uh, the priest med meditation rod is a small staff used as a focus for meditative prayers. Using it will allow Paul to meditate and regain some of his lost sanity. Door is locked. Alrighty. Anything on this side? There's... I typically like to do the floor I'm on first. I'll get a torch. Oh, hey. One but no detail, really. I mean, it's cool looking. Lady with roses and a sword. Some dude with a spear and a sword. Okay. Um, can I, like, overlook this? Man, ooh. I'd like to go down there. Around if there's anything hidden. What the? A nice. I think I get rid of the, the buttons. Get rid of that. And none of the buttons get rid of the um legends. Thing down here, there's like a little alcove on the other side, and nothing. All right, well, there's another door. But yeah, it'd be nice if I could get rid of those buttons. That that would make much better screenshots than the super dark ones I've made for templates. Okay, just an alcove. Moving on up, I see. A thick braided rope serves to ring the church's bell. Usually it is the custodian's task to ring the bell at appropriate times. Perhaps he will he will be along later to ring it. Um Okay, per perhaps. So now we know where the bell tower is. That's good. Um Guess that'll probably come to use later. I want to make a, a, a proper effort to make single videos the entire chapter as opposed to breaking it up like I had to in the last few. Um, and if not, then do what I did in the last one, which was something like The Coming Darkness, I think it was called, part one, then part two. So it's the same name. Just part one, part two. And that way, you know, if people are searching for someone doing a specific chapter, then it helps. Oh, Jesus. For the love of God. God, help. Come quickly. Oh, hi, sir. A murder. A murder most foul. What heresy is this? I, I found him lying here. Dead. I called the guards. Ah. Is this our first suspect? Make sure no one touches the body. It must be examined for signs of devilry. As for this man, make sure he doesn't leave the cathedral. We will question him later. But... Hold your tongue, Franciscan. Or it might bring my wrath upon me. Who is to say that you did not commit this murder? If you trust in the Almighty, and you are indeed innocent, that you will have nothing to fear. Because that's how the church works. Especially back then. The frame fragment of written verse is in Latin and makes references mostly to diabolical entities and how man is dominated by them if he strays the rights of protection. Stop! That. 
painting captures Paul's attention. A small emerald disguised as part of the painting glints in the candlelight as though it had some value beyond being a precious gem. Here, let's try to retrieve it. Alright, so we're stealing from the church. Night as well. Are you here to pass sentence on me? No. I'm here to free you. You are in incredible danger. This cathedral used to be a place of peace. Now many strange things happen here. I don't want you to end up like the others. What do you mean? The body you found was Brother Andrew, and he was killed to protect a secret. I can't talk about it here. Find me in the bell tower later. I know where that I is. Aid thee further. Why are you releasing me? I don't want to see another innocent die like your Franciscan brethren. I have seen Brother Andrew make numerous entries into his journal. This may contain the answers to the cathedral's dark secrets. What can I do? If I were you, I'd run. They will surely haunt me if I run. This has to stop. Then be it on your own head, Luther. Find Brother Andrew's journals if you can. He spent time in the old tower investigating. I believe I can find the key to the old tower in one of my stores. Later, come find me in the bell tower, and I will give it to you. Be swift. We can't evade them forever. Okay. Sounds... Sounds creepy, but good. A creepy good. Um. Ah. Somber portrait of a monk stares ickily from the wall. Something about the grim, staring eyes spark down and suspicion in Paul. Is this the face of a holy man? It's a uh, holy diver. My eye itches at the midnight sea. Ah. Uh. All right, is this the last bull? You didn't, oh, he's not there. Interesting. Yes, yes, we know what this is. So, Lindsay's not, doesn't have a statue here. Maybe it's because he didn't die. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the Tome of Eternal Darkness. Oh, that's where that was, cool. Okay, let's, um, let's explore this area because we tried to and then found a dead body. Um. And then we will. An altar is bereft of holy adornment. No crucifixes, no Bible, no sacrament of any kind. Paul is disturbed by the sight. What faith does the order, what faith does the order practice? Ooh, this. Ooh. A simple podium and lectern provides a platform for a priest to give a sermon to his congregation. There's a draw. Ooh, a drawer recessed. Heck yeah. Oh, it's locked. What about the other side? That that is the stairs, and I'm not going down the stairs yet. I think I saw more hallway. Yes. Oh, there's a cabinet there. Um, come back to that. Old tower. Okay, custodian's gonna give us the key. Um, check out the cabinet. Then we'll check it. Ooh, what's this? Frost bow bolts just. Fitting. A cathedral's tabernacle is fashioned from aged varnished mahogany. Its doors are closed and there doesn't appear to be any way of opening them manually. Okay. Why did we find crossbow bolts? I mean, I presume that means we're going to get a crossbow, but just sitting there. That's an organ. What up, you know? Uh, playing the organ is a, da a daunting challenge for someone like Paul, who has no musical talent. Paul could probably play the organ if there were some music to play. I've played enough Resident Evil to know that the Playing that organ is going to open it something. Uh, let's see if there's a door. Yes, there's a door. Um, God, this guy has no stamina. So this kind of leads me to believe that... Or kind of leads me to believe the... Sus ooh, unlock the suspicion I had earlier. Chesticles! About the different characters having different stats. A heavy wooden chest sits against the room's wall. It appears to be old and worn. Crossbow. Okay. And now we have some bolts. Okay, this one comes with one and it has one. Check this real quick. 
and Emerald's deep green surface reflects the light inside it perfectly. It's cut. It's cut is the work of a master craftsman. Crossbow is a powerful and accurate weapon and shoots a wooden bolt. Get anything in here? What happened? The rat carries robes and cloaks from ceremonial uses. As Paul draws the robes back, something tumbles from inside. Podium key. Here looks like nothing. I love old art like this. The woodcut shows an act of blasphemy. A host of demons prey upon humans like they were playthings, disemboweled by mocking demons, eaten or tortured by their other by their other carnal deviant acts. Anal. This. I do love that we get a look at the paintings and even get descriptions. A woodcut depicting the effects of a plague, the, the spirit of death incarnate casts final judgment over a wealth of victims. It almost looks like it's playing a flute or something. Um, I guess this is a washroom. Oh, well, we've got the podium key, so let's get to the podium. Halfway in the oh, I still need to go down there before I... Before I, um... Go see the dude. Oopsie. Definitely want to take that. A diary page lies inside. Diary Brother Andrew, the Diary of Brother Andrew, page one. I finally arrived at Amiens, and my pilgrimage is to see the Hand of Jew draws to a close. I cannot wait to lay eyes upon the sacred relic. My journey here has been arduous, and it shall be good to relax for a while in this peaceful village. Amiens is full of good people, strong in their faith and their role in the world. If the blight of witchcraft is present in this world, then I doubt it is in Amiens. All right, he's a very um positive, positively thinking. Dude, see what is down here. I thought that was a dead body. Ooh, more bolts. I thought that was a dead body. It was just the woodwork. Ooh. The personal effects of a priest are scattered across the shelves. Rosary beads, a crucifix, and a variety of other small holy items. Paul believes they must have been Brother Andrew. Oh. Well, is that your diary, sir? Reliquaries? It, the desk bears a leather-bound book. A book of reliquaries. This is the forgery. This is the forgeries of the reliquaries dating back to the late 13th century. Exquisitely illuminated and bound with hard leather, it reads, Doubtless, many obscure orders require more income than they can, they can be garnered from the tithe resorted to forging ancient relics to bring people from outside the region to their dossier diocese and thus become more lucrative while i could well it could be said that a false hope is still hope relics such as cuthbert's jawbone the hand of jude and the infamous thigh bone flute of connaught while being forgeries deceive the righteous unjustly the, their extensive their existence as true relics is the utmost heresy oh and he was here to see that hand of jude what the fuck that looks like a fully grown little person Spartan bed shows how the order treats its visitors. There are no signs of the order's own quarters, and this chills Paul to the bone. The only man that doesn't need a bed is a dead one. Alright, so we got a book saying that stuff is a lie. Alright. Bellow me the bellows mechanism supply the organ upstairs with air. It requires an expert hand and attention to keep it working. It keep it in working order. Is that a mace? That is a feckin' steel mace. The weapon co uh, covered with spikes and flanges that focus force upon striking. The mace was effective against an enemy wearing chainmail. Although usually directed against the head, a mace blow to a limb could break bones even if the armor was not pierced. I do love bludgeoning weapons. I try to use them as often as I can in D&D. More crossbow bolts, very good. Damn it, hold on. A wine cask used for maturing wine. The wine inside of this one must be very strong for the seeps of the cask filling the air with a heady, heady aroma. Heady, heady, I don't know. I don't drink. 
Oh, so there's a line here. Okay. Well, brother, let's um go for green just for the sake of your sanity. I assume it has deteriorated without me knowing. But we've yet to face... And there's an enemy. Aha! And I guess our, our uh, sandy had not gone down. Interesting! Yeah, I'll take his head off. Yeah, I'll take him out completely, actually. That way we can do this. Ah, just go ham on the guy. Blah, blah, blah. Three strikes. Route. Wait, nothing? Okay, so the wine cask thing is going to be in important later go ah okay so we got to remember that the organ pump is down here as are the wine casks and now i guess we go see the custodian am i already out of breath god what what are you looking at isn't this where the dead body... Did they take the body away? I think they took the body away. Oh, well. Let's go see the custodian. Up the stairs we go. Over the hills and far away. I don't actually know the rest of the lyrics. Six long years he tread this adult. Nice to meet you. This mace is good. Like it, it does the damages. All of the damages. Um, that mean the custodian's gonna be dead. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. This is eternal darkness after all. Paul's nervous about ringing the bell, fearing his own capture. It is Custodian's task to ring the bell at the appropriate times. Perhaps he should ring it? Yes. Probably shouldn't have done that. Yes, walk to the corner, please. Ah, oh, Brother Luther. Not a moment. Too soon. As you have noticed, dread things inhabit this place. Shambling corpses, and worse. Mm -hmm. There is darkness at work here, in the midst of the Inquisition. I suspect it is worse than that, but I have no proof. Brother Andrew knew this also, and paid the price for it. Why are you telling me this? Perhaps you can finish off what Andrew started. Take this key. It unlocks the old tower. It has been sealed off since the Inquisition arrived. I intend to uncover the truth behind this. If you manage to uncover the source of darkness, return here, and I will do everything I can to help. Till then, brother, may your faith protect. Oh, I love that. Oh, um, what did I want to look at? Audio. Nope. I was hoping I could adjust um, voice volume and, you know, raise that up a little bit, but I can't. Um, okay, so he did tell us to come back and see him in the future, so we need to make sure to definitely do that when the time feels right. I'm not, I'm not sure if he's going to be dead or if he's going to give us something that's perhaps missable or just necessary. Um, because that Mantarok rune, that purple rune we got, seemed very missable. And I wonder what we would have done had we just continued past Mantarok, obtained the heart, and 
finish. Like, what would happen? Would we soft lock? Like, I was wondering, can you soft lock yourself out of the game? And I'm thinking you can. That key. Oh! Jesus! Fuck me. I look comfortable. Wait, is this where we were with what's his name? Um. Die! Wow, he has no health. Look at that health pool. It doesn't exist. Got a good sandy pool, though. Speaking of, let's fill that up. Oh, yeah, our thing was crooked. Yeah, this is where we were with the other guy. This is where we found a dead body. In the... Is this casket in readiness for Brother Andrew's body? Perhaps Augustine, Augustine is, is blessing it, or perhaps it has the more sinister purpose. It is almost as if the death was expected or arranged. Ooh, a spell. <coughs> Pardon me. A scroll of aged paper sits on the dusty altar top. It seems to have been discarded. Shield. Protect self, that makes sense. They're behind here? Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, this is the same cathedral as when we were trying to rescue Charlemagne! Which means this will be the bishop's room. Oh! Oh my gosh, it's him! He said it. And he still has his sword, too. Um. I don't know, purple? I don't know. So is this like... Oh! He hurt? Hey, no arms for you. How... Okay, so we broke an arm. That's cool. I dig that shield spell. Don't hit the wall. Look at these moves. Ah, oh, poop. Look at these moves, he said. Nice. Um. Why? Stop being... Less than dead. <clears throat> thing is, yellow is not a thing, so maybe I just need to enchant it. Cast purple because I don't know what to use it on. Oops. That worked. God, I'm smart. I love how it's all connected. Paul has found a ruby. A two-edged sword. I kind of prefer... The mace? To be honest. Um, so we know there are stairs here. That's what I do like, is I know... The relative layout. Because we've been here before. Like this is where we fought that big dude. Ow! 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 Can you die, por favor? Grazie. I feel like I hear something else. No? Okay. A uh, bewildering array of books and tomes soared neatly into a set of shelves, mostly books of the religious nature, awaiting scholars such as Paul to peruse there. Same thing. <gasps> sheet music. A sheet of music lies upon the bookshelf. One wonders what it sounds like. Oh my god, if only we had the Ocarina of Time. Hey, that's a false thing back there. I abandoned paper. Let me guess. Diary page. 
I suppose... Oh, yeah, page two. I suppose it is understandable that they will not show me the hand of Jude on such little notice, but I must confess that I that the preparations they make are most unusual. No acts of consecration, no daily prayers or worship are demonstrated by the strange order. One wonders if they are holy at all, let alone being under the auspicious auspices of the Grand Inquisition. I was looking out to make sure my mic's on. Perhaps it is my naivety uh, of the faith. There are many practices associated with it, and they differ greatly from region to region. Perhaps a means, a means, whatever, is merely more eccentric than others. Okay, so he's starting to see that they're weird. Where was the false book? Did they get rid of it? Can I open this? No. No, I could not. But we can go do stuff with the organ. Y'all play the organ trails, kids? Did your grandma died dysentery as well? Mine did. I remember being like, what's dysentery? And my teacher was like, when someone gets sick. And that's all she would say. Kind of great. Um, Do I need to just use it? Because that's usually the kid. Nope. There we go. Play. Oh, crap. Um. God, I'm good. Did I play it wrong? Oh, that's why. Oops, okay, I got my button configuration mis mixed up. So. Do it wrong again? A, B, Y, X, B, oh, God damn it. H. It's because my con my configuration is very different from this. Y, X, B, 